Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for bestiebookers.com. Today I'm showing you the Nexus 7 FHD 2013 Mrs. Kindle Fire HDX 8.9. One of them is a running a 1.5 gigahertz processor, but it's only 10 ounces and 1920-1200 display. The other one is a 2560-1600 display. And you have Android 4.3, Android 4.2, Fire OS here. Now I'm running an application that I downloaded from Google Play on both of these devices. This is like this that I downloaded from Google Play and I installed it on my Kindle Fire HDX. You have to get the easy installer, you have to get the file manager, download the backup from file manager on your Nexus device or any other Android device, and then grab that package and drop it to your Kindle Fire HD when you connect it to your PC. So you connect it to your PC, as soon as the icon shows up, you drag and drop the package, package on it, and that's about it, and then you install. The reason I did that was because the app that was available in the App Store for Amazon was an older version. So I wanted to have the same version. I'm running it, obviously you're gonna have to go through the numbers, but there's no doubt in this Kindle Fire HDX is run a faster processor, and this display is pretty awesome. Because of the fact that, I mean, we have covered it in other videos as well. There's a report out there that shows that its display is pretty comparable and even better than the iPad, Mini, iPad Air. And that's impressive. Now, as far as the design goes, you have your back with Amazon logo. You have the buttons. You have the 8 megapixel camera. Almost no buttons anywhere else. It's well built, I should say. It doesn't feel like the iPad. The iPad looks like something that's a premium device. This and and surprisingly, it actually is almost close size-wise to this device, even though it has a larger display. Nexus Seven budget tablet. You really should compare it with the Kindle HDX seven inch. I don't have that I, because I just don't want to buy two Kindle Fire HD devices. It's really silly because Kindle Fire HDX is not really for everyone. It's for people who love consuming content. Obviously, I know some people use it for business, but the whole thing about Amazon changing Android so much that makes it so difficult to install Google Play application. That's a really big turnoff for a lot of people. So something to think about, but it's the good news for Amazon is obviously they have their Mayday. So you can actually connect here. If you go settings, you can connect and actually talk to someone. See, it's connecting. Now, obviously, I don't want to connect and I don't want to waste anyone's time. But if you have any questions, they help you answer it. And that's an innovation I think we're going to see by other companies as well. Amazon has a great customer service. So they don't want you to just buy a tablet and buy content. They also want to provide you with enough support so you can actually keep buying. They don't want it to be the last tablet that you buy. Nexus 7 for geeks, for hackers. Obviously, I'm waiting for Nexus 10 myself. But as far as the size goes, pretty decisive as far as what you have in mind. This one fits in one hand. This one almost fits in one hand. It probably doesn't. So. This is the difference why Nexus 7 is awesome because you can keep it anywhere. It's really great for traveling. I don't know, my hands are not big enough to hold that and maybe I should actually get hand en enhancement. Uh, it's almost, I mean, my hands are actually big enough to hold it in one hand. It's not that con convenient, but it's really lightweight, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know, it looks a little bit awkward holding it with one hand because it's just, I don't know, it's more convenient with two hands. It's really up to you and really not the point of this review, just want to show you how these two devices match up and also show you the scores. You're going to go deeper into benchmarking in the future. Just wanted to compare the Nexus 7 and the Kindle Fire HDX 8.9. If you have any suggestions, any comments, accessory recommendations, please leave in the comment section. For more information, please go to bestebookreaders.com. Thanks again for watching, guys.